Hey, 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 this is the Boat Doctor. Hey, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Uh, 2050 Super Cab. They really did some nice designing on this. It's a 2023. It's a Super Cab. Uh, single wiper up front. Wipes the whole window. Kind of eliminates having to have two wipers. Got the heavy duty bow rail. Got the windless anchor system or Maxwell. It's got the kick down anchor, which is really nice. It's about a 17 degree V. So, oh, roughly about a 50 gallon fuel tank in here. Uh, this is, has three chambers. You got your life ring up here and then you got your chamber there and your chamber on your other side plus it's foam filled and then you got your bottom so they're virtually unsinkable now this trailer doesn't come with this um, so i'm not going to go into the trailer here's your drain hole for your anchor box sliding windows actually the trailer fits pretty good on here you know they need to start putting cleats so on all the stabies they need another cleat right about right here before the bend at the front and this aero design is really unique it, you can sit in one spot and just spin this boat like if you're out in the water and you need to make a turn and it's ugly out there you can turn real fast uh, with this the way this is pointed what it does is it throws the water out this way see how this goes like this and it throws it out here instead of coming back and going in your boat and the more bends you got on the side the better you got a rub rail there rub rail there <clears throat> Oh, and they made that for one of them lockable style that you can just drive your trailer up if you want to turn it flashes. Uh, that's your reverse, they call it G3 tubing. You got a little reverse there, reverse there, and then it transitions back. See how that flares at an angle down? That keeps that water spraying down and out. And then you got all the way back and it's a real big hook, just not a flat straight out. And that's where there's a difference on how these things turn so tight. Because a lot of these reverse chines, they just come like this. This one actually angles down like this, so that's why it grips. And this acts as an air pocket when it's coming down. And I've got something new on the Yamaha. If you notice, this is a 150 new style, you can see, and the cowling. They integrated their electric hydraulic system right here. So it's a hydraulic, so you don't have to worry about cables. It's part of the bracket motor bracket now so you don't have to run all those tubes all the way there and have that cylinder sitting way out here uh, worrying about your tilts and stuff uh and they've been proven they handle on all they have them on older big motors they're electric on some of them these are just like uh, integrated in so they're like just like a standard hydraulic they redid their back end from what I see, again, that's their heavy reverse, but they made this bracket here for transducers, which is nice. It came and they flattened it out there because this is aero designed in the back. So again, backing up, you don't get water over the back. It turns a lot faster. They did a sweep up on the bottom like this, which is, is a good idea. We're gonna make sure it works the way it should. Uh, and then I see where they got that cup with the hole so then the water will shoot in and come out. So they, they did some thinking on this one. But anyway, when it comes up like that, what it's doing is driving the water down, but yet building it back up so you get maximum water to your props. So that's kind of a good idea. That's your drain plugs right there. <clears throat> it's got a 150 stainless frog shaft, drive shaft, 15 pitch aluminum. Man, did he. <laughs> he really gave us some stoutness. And they put this together they put some bolts down there that's for sure they even did this kind of a different here on the bracket they kind of tiered tiered in uh so it's kind of space age look and they got it i first looked at it, i said now how in the heck are you going to hook up a tie bar to that thing for steering but i guess they do have a kit that you can get so it's i don't know some type of an attachment with a tie bar you know there's got to be some way they can have a little box that you can hook up that you can almost do hydraulic on it as well which would be neat i don't know if that's what they're going to do i haven't seen it this is the very first one out this is a 150 they never had this and actually all motors from a 115 up should have hydraulic steering anyway uh, and i don't know if it's electric i, I don't think it is i think you gotta have dec for that uh, nice looking boat very nice for a 20 footer I put 40 gallons in here um, it's like uh, 9 foot tall and about 20 I think it was 22 feet long or something like that on the trailer if I'm not mistaken 
And then the dry weight is 3,400 pounds. 22 to 23 foot long, nine feet tall. Uh, so it's a nice boat, very deep. Gives you a ton of room in here. Grab handle. Now this is something I wish they would do. This stuff here, I wish they'd put it on the floor. The only reason it acts as another sound deadener. There is no fish boxes in here, which is okay because you can buy kill bags and stuff and use ice chests. Those are flip up seats. And I noticed too, which makes sense, is that those there, they used to have a slide and you really, nobody really used those anyway. So you might as well just put it in there and leave it in here. And this is a windows, a bait box so you can see it in here. Uh, now, there's a guy that bought, and there's your lights here. They go up underneath. There's your uh, valve to turn off the bait tank. So if you're not using it, you can shut that so water ain't driving up in there. There's your battery switch. And then if you open this up, that's your dual batteries. And there's the little blue thing back there your, to turn on your gas, your primer bulbs there. I'd go, and there's another seacog valve there for your wash down. If that thing's turned this way, you're not getting any water to your wash down. This thing's turned, you're not getting water, you're shutting water off to that. <clears throat> but what a lot of room. If you pop them seats up like this, I mean, you got a lot of room in here for a 20 footer and it's deep. They made a little step here, I noticed. They even dropped this down to make this lower. So they put some thought into this. And we were just talking about this the other day. Grab handles, like right here. Which is nice. Cattle ever, or, and then you got these seats with the thigh rides. They added these in for foot rest. See how deep this bow is? This is nice. R grab rail here, so if they're standing up, they can stand, hold on to this. And for a small coffee cup, I guess you can put in there. That's another thing. Start putting some damn coffee uh, coffee cups in here. You got nice little trays right here. A little mom skid, maybe you can put your phone up there. Armrest right there. That's kind of neat. This is taken out so you can, it's easier to rig. They put this stuff up above. So you can put a nice 16 inch screen up there easy. So yeah, they thought about this one a little bit. Nice boat. I'm kind of anxious to see how it handles. Uh, these did handle good. They were just a little noisy uh, back then. But, I mean, who cares? This is safe and stable. I can tell you that right now. And then the steering. Oh, yeah, that makes a difference. That's, that's actually hydraulic. So that's not the electric, thing, goodness. And then there's something they do got to think about, though. Is they got water back here. I don't know if they got a weep hole. I know they siliconed it there. You need to figure a way in the back. See, they got a weep hole right there, I think. Yeah. They need to drill some type of a hole right out through here so that that will drain. If not, you're gonna have water. It looks like this one drains, so that must just be blocked. Yeah, maybe you can peel some of this back because you don't want water from there going into there. So you probably want to come out here, maybe drill a little weep hole right off to the side of this so this water can get out of here. All right, now we're gonna take her to the water. I'm kind of excited. This is a neat boat. Huh. 2023-2050 Super Cab. I think, you know, the 1850s getting up there. You might as well buy the 20. Boat Doctor 